that's part one of my morning workout. I all have all kinds of gate hooks that I could use to make those and it'd make it a lot easier on myself. I just haven't got around to it yet. And yes, I'm wearing the same clothes I had on yesterday because when I'm done here, I have to go shower and get ready to head into town. And it's hot. I was chilly this morning when I got out of bed. Yes, ladies, I'll get you some grain. Yes, turkey birds. Those things follow me everywhere. It's cute, but it can get annoying at times when you're trying to get things done. There's some for everyone. It'll take me two trips because I took all of my feed scoops out of here. Hey, Doris, don't be so mean. You're always the mean one. to branches and hay. They get grain. I only give them once a day right now and I give them a decent amount. I say grain. It's not really grain. It's alfalfa and goat. Some goat pellets. Sunflower seeds. That's good for barn chores. Now I'll just get them their hay and water everybody. And they should be good till I get back. I don't leave very often. It's nerve wracking when I do. Let's see. And that pot. You guys may wonder why I'm feeding on the ground. And especially my goats, known critters that will not eat anything that's been on the ground. But truth of the matter is, is I've built them several different concoctions to hold their hay in and nothing's worked yet. And I grant you, I am not known for my carpenter skills. In fact, Craig and I always laugh about them. Generally when I'm doing something, I do it just enough to hold things together until Craig can get home and has the time to deal with it. I can hammer in a nail and take out a screw, but much beyond that, and I'm kind of worthless. But by putting it on the outside of the fence for the ladies, they go through and pick it up. The babies jump on it a little bit, but not too bad. And then this afternoon, before I feed them again, I will pick that up, take it out to the cows, and dump it to them. And the boys, they just get a little bit in their um, branches, and they seem to clean it up pretty well. They don't leave near, near as much waste hay as the girls do. Some of that's probably because I only give them a little bit, and the ladies I'm always adding because I want to make sure they're eating well and their nutrition is up. Whew. 
Well, my food is not in here. It's sitting on the outside. So I guess that's where I should go first. It's like Pilates and yoga and a full-ass cardio workout all in one. So this that I'm throwing them is just some whole grains. I haven't got around to soaking them for the last few days. But I'm just going to throw them out here. I'm not worried too much about any waste on there because they'll just grow up as sprouts. The chickens will eventually find them. So now all that's left to do is the watering. It is so nice to not have to worry about frozen hoses and buckets and all of that. All I have to do is come over here, turn it on, and find the kink, because there's almost always one. I'm filling up the cow's tank, and then that's the last of the absolute morning chores that have to get done. Then I can go in and get ready. This time of the year, I really, really start worrying about hay. And each year I say, I'm going to buy enough so that I don't have to go through this again. And here we are. What I gave the cows this morning was the last of the hay. Craig knows somebody that has some square bales, so we're going to go get a few of those to last for the weekend. And then Sunday we've got some more rounds coming. I don't know how many, and hopefully I've got more coming. My son and... His girlfriend are supposed to be getting some hay farther down south on Sunday. So hopefully they will be able to do that and my cows won't starve. The goats, I can give them plenty. They'll eat enough brush and whatever. But the cows just don't have anything to eat out there. And they're not used to being on any type of grain. They've all had a handful of sweet feed occasionally, just so that if they ever get out, then I'm able to get them back in and they know what the little red coffee can is. But other than that, they're solely grass fed, or hay fed at this point. I really hope we have a much better year. I have some weird feeling that it's not going to be, that it's going to be just more and more struggles. Going into winter though, I'll probably only have my milk cow. I'll be taking the bull out. He'll be in our freezer before the harsh part of winter sets in. Tough decisions. If it looks like I'm not going to get enough hay, I may have to sell my milk cow before she's given me a drop of milk. I'm praying that's not the case. Of course, when it comes time to train her to milk, I may be wishing different, but I've had milk cows before, but they've been seasoned milk cows, not 
not first time fresheners. She's friendly and all, but I don't go spend a lot of time with her. When I got my, got my first, well, I got my first cow on the homestead about five years ago and we raised him up for about a year and then we butchered him ourselves on the homestead. And then the next cow I got, I ended up getting two. I got a Jersey cow that was due in like two months and then a little baby calf. And they, they lived right over here behind the woodshed. And we went and picked up my cows on a Monday. And I got the call Friday morning that my dad had died. So I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I Immediately I was going to sell them. In fact, I asked the people that I bought them from if they wanted them back. But we made it, and it was about two months later, and then the mama cow died after she, well, I shouldn't say two months after that, about four months after that, my mother cow died. She had her baby, and she was about, the baby was about two, two and a half months old. I went to out there at nine o'clock to check him at night. Everything was fine. Gave him some hay, gave him some love. And she was a sweet, sweet cow. Her name was Rosie, Nellie's mama. And I woke up about 5.30 in the morning the following morning and I was sitting at the table looking out the kitchen window, drinking my coffee. I'm like, oh, I think my cow was dead. And I went out and sure enough, not certain exactly what happened. I didn't have a vet bring, come out and check her. Um, and she wasn't sick. The hay was fine. The other cow was fine. So the general consensus among the farmers around here and even the vet was that she just got herself in a little divot and couldn't get back up. And she died. Had it been during the day, I might have been able to help. But unfortunately, it was at night for Nellie. Poor, poor Nellie. She had to go without Mama then. She was laying there bawling by her Mama, trying, trying to suck off of her corpse. Alright, well the tank is filled, so that's it for all I have to do for the bare minimum morning chores. And, uh, I better go in and start getting ready. Alright, well the tank is filled, so that's it for all I have to do for the bare minimum morning chores. And, uh, I better go in and start getting ready. What do you think of those turkeys, Oreo? You're not quite certain? Turkey's gonna get you, Shadow.
It's funny. He's chasing her.